Haha, <laughs> you're gonna get it now, creeper. Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay, hello guys, it's me, the Ender Gamer here, and today I am here to show you something pretty cool. Now, you may or may not remember this setup over here from, like, one of my videos. It was like the Chaos Lightning video or whatever from one of those videos, but that, um, that, that was back in September, so that doesn't really matter now. So, yeah, today I'm going to show you something way cooler, because that one was just kind of useless, since you can only use it in creative. Mm -hmm first of all so um yeah so you saw that little um I can't find the right word you, you saw that little example in the intro when I shot that creeper dead with, with some kind of magical trick yeah okay so this is actually a bow uh, um, a lightning bow I, I mean arrow lightning arrow basically so yeah um yeah my sister put a Doctor Who skin on me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so as you can see, when I shoot it, lightning strikes it all the way. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, actually. So let me just get the command blocks and the right stuff. So first of all, get some ground that you would want to put this in. Actually, um, I'm guessing you would want to put this on the ground underground so um so you would have to need a for just this for the lightning arrow you would need um i'd say a five by five maybe six five by six maybe so yeah if you want to put it underground that's what you would need but i'm just going to show it on top on the surface i mean so first get a command block type in the all known command i, I put negative one because it's kind of easier for me like that Redstone block. Oops. Zero. Just Troy. Troy. Okay, so once you got that down, just do that. I want to turn it off for now. Just type in an extra letter or something. And then delete it. And then once it's ready, just break that and place it again. Anyways, second command. Let's see. Right here, you're going to want to type in this command. So it's slash execute at E. Bracket type equals arrow comma c11 bracket closing bracket squiggly 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 and then summon lightning bolt. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that for you guys for time. So just type that in. I'll have it in the description so you can just copy and paste. And the last one, actually, this is not exactly um necessary. But it's just easier for lag, you know. So what this does, once you shoot the arrow, if you didn't have this, once you shoot the arrow, it would forever and ever keep striking lightning on that arrow um, until it despawns or you collect it somehow, unless you're in creative, well, obviously. So, but if you don't want to do that, then um, this uh, this timer, every um, eight ticks, I'm guessing, since it's four ticks on each, I don't really know that kind of part in Minecraft, but whatever. So, every 8 ticks, I'm guessing, it kills all the arrows in the world. So, that's why I have this. So, yeah, so I'll just copy and paste that again. Put that there. Put it in. And, yeah, you're basically done. Yeah, that's it. Now, just start the command and... Hold on. Just to show you that it works. I will turn this one off. And I already have that there, so I'll just keep that. So now. I failed. What? Hold up. Hold up. What did I do wrong? So this. Oh, right. That's what I did. I put this on the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so just have these two, the clock and the the execute command, and then separately on the 8 tick timer, have the kill arrow. That's what I did wrong. 
So shoot the arrow and lightning will strike it all the way. Okay, that that is weird. Hold on. I'll just make this timer a bit longer. Yeah, that should work now. Yeah, there we go. See, now it goes all the way. And this is really cool for mobs. Like you shoot the oh, I dropped it. So you shoot them, and the lighting just immediately starts striking. Um, so, so yeah, you might want to shoot them two or three times, depending on how much lightning they get struck with. So yeah, that's the lightning arrow trick. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I say so yeah too much. Um, so now on to the, um, uh, this thing. It's pretty s not simple, actually. Anyways, so what to the? I, I haven't done this part in a while, so I'm kind of, kind of remember. First of all, okay. So th what this does? Here, I'll show you. I'll, I just need to connect this real quick because I had it off. So what this does? Right here, I have four commands. It'll execute creepers. Zombies, skeletons, and spiders, all of them in the world. So let me just turn it to night real quick. So they can start spawning. Now when I hold it, it'll kill um those four mobs everywhere in the world at once with lightning. See? You could you could put all the mobs to make it even crazier. Like seriously, this is pretty cool. And you control it too, like not like the that video from September because that one just goes crazy. Yeah, so this one, um, that's what it does. So I'll just show you how to do that. First of all, uh, get this one. It's slash, it, it test fours, um, if you're holding the first slot, or you know, zero is the first slot, one is the second, three is the third, I mean, no, second is the third, yeah, and so on and so forth. So you can put it in whatever slot you want. I would recommend the middle because that's kind of cool. So yeah, just first do that, then put a comparator right there, then a repeater, then redstone, turn, or not if you want. Then put the command blocks of whatever mobs you want to you want to kill with lightning. Oh crap, hold on. What was it? So it was creepers. Skeleton spider, yeah, it was zombies. Wasn't it? There we go. Fixed. There. Okay, so just put whatever mobs you want, or you could put other things. Just put whatever you want. It, as long as it's an entity, entity, it'll work. So it's just this command. So it's. Hold on. Slash ex execute at e type. Square bracket type equals so and so. Square bracket three squigglies, summon lightning bolt, and then three other squigglies. And just do that um, as how many you want. You can put in a straight line or in a square. I would recommend a square because that wouldn't need as much repeaters. You know? So, um, that's what that does. So, yeah, that's basically it. What's this? Wait, I don't need that. Or this, I'm pretty sure. Or this, or this. Yeah, I did need that. Oh. I'm stupid. Hold on. There we go. So you gotta have a clock on this. Or else it won't work. So clock on the the for the that the, the, the. <laughs> so have a clock on the test for if you're holding the correct slot then just have that connected to a comparator repeater then redstone onto the command box of what you want to kill as long as they're entities it'll work so yeah that's basically it um so yeah that is how you make the lightning arrow lightning bow and arrow and the whatever this should be called I don't, I don't have a name on it for it yet Whatever. So I will see you all later. Peace.